I've got a Mercedes yet. Fam, do you know? Sorry, I'll stop. Mercedes C63 AMG S Coupe. In that order, not that order, it's something like that. I have been looking forward to this car being added. As soon as I knew it was going to be a thing a couple of weeks ago, there aren't many manufacturer colors out there. It's all white, gray, and blue. One blue. Black. In my head, I want to go with a yellow or something with the Mercedes. That's very nice, actually. But that reminds me of the AMG. People will think, if they click on the thumbnail, they'll think it is an AMG GC. But we are going to be customizing this thing today to see what we can get out of it. Let's jump to the visual parts. Two options. I'm a little bit disappointed because... Literally, the reason I'm excited about this is that this car's not really been in many games before. Boom. It's a carbon hood. How about no? Front bumpers. We got four options. That's adds a little bit of can on the side. Nice, but not nice enough. I expected a bit more from it. We got wide body. You're going to give him that. Wide body on the C60 frizzle. Black out the wheels. I think so. I'm going to go with those Mercedes wheels right there. You know me. I'm a... I'm a stock wheel type guy. We got side mirrors, which I imagine, yep, carbon and fibre. We got the side skirts. The second one kind of just makes them an odd shape. Let's go with the odd shape because the odd shape's cool. Rear fenders, wide boy once again. Rear wing, two, three. Is that it? I just bought it with crew credits. I'm actually an idiot. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Rear bumpers. We've got more rear bumpers. It's actually, just, we're going to black out the lights for half of them, aren't they? Black out the, the rear lights looks cool. We've got an extra diffuser on the bottom there. We're changing the, the, the exhaust, should I say. There's the extra diffuser. There's the blacked out lights. Throw that on. And the interior color as well, which I'm going to... Uh, you know what? No matter what, we'll go with the white seats there. Let's just go with the white accents. Number one. Interior control pack. Oh, we can make that carbon as well. Black looks better than carbon on this one. I'm going to say. So anyway, we now need to decide on a color. So again, I'm going to say a little bit disappointed about the customization. I was expecting a whole lot more. This is the first time this has really been on a game customization. Uh, so rather unfortunate. I mean, at the same time, this new shape, I've got to say, is very like feminine. No, that's a bad thing. I just, I prefer the more muscular look of the older model that's available. But anyway, let's go to standard colors, get an idea for what we want. Go with a bit more of a metallic. We go with a lime green. What color do you normally pick for a C63? Obviously, it's black or white. That's basically what everyone goes for. But I want to go for something a little bit non-normal manufacturer colors. Maybe a red. I feel like I go with red too often. We're going with the white. <laughs> I know. I'm boring. I apologize. But I like the white and black combo. Uh, guilty pleasure. Guilty as charged. The C63 does look very nice. Much better with the wide body kit on it. Definitely. Definitely something I'm really into. Actually, we're putting this livery on as well. That's very nice indeed. You see that? You saw the brakes and the, the underside there for a second. I think it was the drive shaft. Back to the old the crew there for a little bit. But anyway, that's much better. Bit of a design on there. Let's go and drive it now. The whole bunch of events that have been added, as you may or may not know, they've been adding events constantly. We've got downtown LA East, Pikes Peak Mountains. This looks like a good one. We're going to Pikes Peak. Boy. Oh, do you hear the rumble already? Oh, very nice. Let's go inside. The Pikes Peak Mountain Street Races, <laughs> making us go off-road for the very beginning of the event. We're actually only just 10 over because I haven't upgraded this thing yet, but I've got to say it does look very, very nice. I was very, I was very much expecting this to not be that much customization. And again, there isn't that whole much customization, but I've got to say it looks pretty darn good as is. Let's get it on with the C63. Wow, buddy, big and the A by Turbo. Oh! Change gear, you big and. Oh, yeah, dude. That's why we're going to Pike Peak. Pike's Peak. Peaky Pike. Pikey Peak. That's where we're going today. Now, last time I drove one of the DLC cars, I can't remember exactly what car it was, but it felt a little bit weird, actually. I didn't I didn't get along with how it handled. Let's see how the C63 is. In my head, the C63 should be a swervy, spinny boy. But, I mean, so far, it's... It's, it's, he's got a little bit of a, of, a, of a loss of control sometimes, but You're in first. I wasn't like it's the only place you've ever been. 
I, I will now attempt to do so. I'm losing a bit of traction there, holding it. That, the, the water on the road is definitely helping a little bit. Then we get into the cockpit view to see what that's like. There we go. C63. It looks like a Mercedes. She's getting a bit squirrely. Usually, I'm not a massive fan of how these look. With the blacked out taillights, though, I'm going to say that it looks better with the blacked out taillights, and that's something I would do if I had one. If you get if you get one of these, you got to black out the taillights. No, no doubt about it. you got to do it. It looks less girly. I guess it's also the diffuser and the wide body that they've thrown onto this. Does that, has anyone actually wide bodied one of these? I don't know. Probably. Probably someone out there, but not like this. So this race is the one of the... I, I tuned in a little bit at the last stream they did. I was busy at the time, but... They had an idea... The, the race for this was climbing up Pike's Peak. And I think racing around and leveling out. The, if you get to the top during the... Oh, balls! Back on track! No! Carries past me in the F12. They said you can relax at the top, not mess it up. I guess we're still technically climbing. Come on! <laughs> I kind of feel like playing more events around the level that they recommend because this is much more of a challenge than it was normally. Come on! Get back on the road! I'm going to lose this. I only need to get third place. It's all right. I can do it. Excuse me, Aston. The Germans are coming through. What a view. <laughs> it's beautiful. 80% on this event. One place left to take, and it's a bloody Ferrari! I only wish that uh, Toyota would be in games now for the RCF to be in the game, because that would be amazing. 95. Give it a bit of boost. Take it at the end. Oh, no. That's the finish there. <laughs> Disappointed. Disappointed in my driving ability, not the C63, because I'm impressed with the C63. I was not expecting this many mods to be available. Pass me at the end, we'll get your cheeky blighters. And get some parts to upgrade it as well. Not that I need them, because I've definitely got max everything. So there we go. The C63. Interesting that they added that car opposed to many others. Because, again, normally when they've added cars, it's kind of cars that you wouldn't expect. Like the TVR, for example. Uh, this is new to the game. It's new to a lot of games. I, you don't see it. You don't see it in a lot of games. Uh, you mainly see the last model because it is definitely seen as the more desirable one for enthusiasts. But, I mean, there's, there's a place for this one. There's a place because people consider this... People consider Mercedes very a very high brand. I would say that I am not one of those. I see them as, you know, they're, they're all right. They do the job, but it definitely looks amazing with this livery. If you get what, if you bother using this DLC, get this livery, okay? If you get any other livery, I'm going to be sorely disappointed with you. <laughs> I'm kidding. There, there are many other deliver deliveries, liveries that you could use, but I say I'm, I'm very happy with how this one turned out. So anyway. Decent amount of mods. Wish there were a few more. That's my only gripe with this car. There aren't that many mods. Uh, so if you... Obviously, the, the, the DLC cars are free eventually. It's this week where they're part of the season pass. Once it becomes uh, free, as such, you have to buy it in the game, then I would maybe recommend this if you like the car. If you don't really, there aren't really many mods you can do to make it unique. So everybody's going to be driving around a stock kind of looking... AMG C63S. One other thing I wanted to quickly test was turning off the traction control. ABS can stay on. I wanted to see if we can get this thing to slide. Now, the gearbox, I don't want to mess with it. We can mess with the grip. One thing I tend to do is obviously turn off the traction and that kind of thing, switch to the manual, and then it's mostly just brakes. With those few simple changes to the settings, we should have some slides pop in. I thought the screen vibration then was to do with the uh, the pop of the exhaust, but no. We also do remember how that this thing is not very fast. We're pretty much running stock power as well, so... Normally, I max out my whips. Why were you in the way? Normally, I max out the power, but I wanted to see, give it a go. It's a V8 bi-turbo as standard. This thing should be ready as Freddy to be going already. 
And obviously, it is not a drift car. That's the only difference here. So, I actually prefer the way that normal cars, when you take them and you force them to drift, drift. That's my drift handling. That's my like, ideal drift handling. Like this. Proper pulling, skipped ground drift, personal highlight beaten. Is that in the C6? Probably in the C6 because I'm pretty sure with a drift car that would go on for much longer. Here we go. Try and get it around this corner as well. It grips up really easily for a Mercedes. <laughs> Mercedes are usually like AMGs are supposed to be genuinely stupid. But this one feels like it doesn't want to be. It's like the SLS black compared to the SLS. The SLS is like an absolute maniac. And the SLS black is the... The, the, the posh German, the straightforward. He knows what he wants. Efficient. That's the word I'm looking for. Efficient. We're almost leveled up. Let's get to level up by doing some skids. Bit too sideways there. <laughs> I've been playing too much Gran Turismo. I've been trying to press circle for the handbrake. Is that even the handbrake in Gran Turismo? I think I made it because I don't like XP in the handbrake. If that is the handbrake, let's do a NOS skid. Are you ready? Are you ready? Handbrake and NOS. Oh, yeah. Power sliding. <laughs> I definitely think that this thing would benefit from being on a drift build as well. I think only as of right now, it is literally only on race, which is generally what they do with the DLC cars. I'm hoping that maybe with an expansion this year, that they fix that and all the DLC cars they've added, for example, are available in all the specs or something like that, because that would be fan bloody tastic. Anyway. I think we're about level up now. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, let me know your thoughts on the C63 down below. Is it your favorite kind of compared to the M3, M4, RCF, Julia? What is your favorite of that car class? We've got the Julia. We've got the C63. Have we got an M4? I feel like we must have an M4. It's the, it's the only game with really having all of them that allows you to modify them. So I'm quite happy about that. I really like to see the RCF. I'm just gonna keep begging every developer ever. Please, I'm begging you. Smash like, subscribe if you are new, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.